Okay, let's look at this example, which is invest 2,500 Rand per quarter for the next five years at an interest rate of 9% per annum compounded quarterly. What is the value of the investment after five years? So we're going to be doing this on our financial calculator. So let's just jump straight to writing down all the information we have. So we have investing 2,500 Rand per quarter. So the PMT here is going to be 2,500 and we invest in it, so it's going to be an outflow of money from us. And it's per quarter, so our payment periods is four. And then it's for the next five years. So we have N is equal to five years. Now, this is the first thing we need to fix because our PY and our N units need to correspond, which means we need to convert our N into quarters. So we're just going to multiply it by four to get 20 quarters. Okay, then we can move on at an interest rate of 9% per annum compounded quarterly. So we have a normal interest being displayed there of 9% per annum compounded quarterly. So that's IY is equal to nine because remember our financial calculator requires our normal interest in percent. And our CY, that's the compounded quarterly, so that's 4. So what we have here, because we have CY is equal to 4 and PY is equal to 4, is a simple annuity. Because the payment periods and the compounding periods correspond. They're the same. Okay, then we have the next bit of information, which is what is the value of the investment after five years? So we want to find the future value. It's unknown. and we started by investing per quarter. So we actually know that our PV in this situation is equal to zero. And that's all the information we have. And that's all the information we need. So let's go ahead and put it into our financial calculator. So let's write down the recipe first, and then we'll go and put it into the calculator. So no matter what, we're going to clear our information from our previous calculations. That second function, CA. Then we're going to input our payment periods and our compounding periods. So that second function, PY, that's four, that's enter. Because it's a simple annuity, our CY is going to be the same. So we shouldn't have to stress about this, but let's just check by pushing the down arrow and checking that it says CY is equal to four, and then pushing O and C to clear it, to wrap us up for putting all the information we have. So now we're going to put in all the information we have. We're going to have the payments, which is an outflow of money, so it must be negative 2,500 PMT. Then we're going to have the 20 quarters, so 20N. Then we're going to have the interest, which is 9IY. So I'm just writing it, you know, as it comes up on my side there. And now we know our PV is equal to zero. We can say zero PV, but we don't have to because if we cleared our information correctly, the default value for PV is equal to zero. So we don't have to input it. So now we can just say compute future value. That is FV. And it's going to give us 62278.80. So let's go ahead and do this on our financial calculator now. So we're going to put our calculator on, clear our information. So second function CA. Then we're going to say second function PY, and that's four and enter. We're going to push down because remember that arrow means we push down. We get CY, and that's four, and that's consistent with what we want. So our PY and our CY are the same in this example. So we're going to push O and C. Then we're going to put in our payments, and our payments are negative because we are paying them. So it's minus 2,500 PMT. Then it's the 9IY. Then it's the 20N. And then we're going to compute our future value. And so we get an answer of 62,278 Rand and 80 cents. Do you stress about this?